Hello, this is uh, Tillmann from Germany with some information about paragliding in Alanya, some news and updates. Keep watching. This is here at Alanya, uh, Cleopatra Beach, the landing place, which is huge. Um, there is enough place for all the paragliding landing, but there is something new which you have to know. You have to register now in order to get to the takeoff which is right above. Here you see the two paragliding um, takeoffs. One is the upper one on the left-hand side, brown, which is 700 meters. And the other one is right here, which is 500 meters. And you can get up there by some um, tandem pilots. Typically you have to pay, let's say three euro or five euro. Sometimes they will take you there for free. As I already told you, you have to go to a web page before you use the paragliding site at Alanya. The address of that web page is shown in the description below the video. It is written completely in Turkey. So for an easier understanding, I have shown on the right hand side the English translation. Probably you do not have an account when you enter the web page for the first time. So you start by creating account, which is the lowest entry um, under the entrance or Giris entry field, written in Brew, Hesab, Ölücgür, something like that. If you hit that button, you will create an account. And I show you on the next page how that looks like. So you get to that page where you create a single pilot account. As previously, you see on the right hand side the English translation as the whole web page is in Turkey. On the first field, you add your name, which will be automatically written in uppercase letters, which is the first name and your last name. Next field is your email address and then your telephone number in an international format written down. Next field is your passport number for your Turkish passport, which you probably do not have. So you can enter whatever your number you like to. Next thing is your password. You can decide whatever password you would like to have and enter it into this field. Then is your date of birth and your address, which you can leave blank. Then you should attach all the necessary documents which you need in order to show them that you are a pilot. Um, this is your IPPI card or your license to fly. When you have all these data attached, you press the create account button, which will send all the information to the web page owner to Alanya Sport, and they will check whether all of your documents are valid. I would propose that you do this before you go to the flying site at home in order to have everything prepared. Next step would be to go to the office and also log into the web page with your previously created account and password. You will then see this um, dashboard which shows um, at Bakie the amount of money you have already loaded, which is none if you haven't done before. If you enter the office, um, you will pay cash. Currently it's 150 Turkish Lira, approximately five Euro, which you pay in cash at the office to the person sitting there. And after you've done that, you will see on your dashboard that the amount of money on the upper left side, um, right of the green, um, currency field will raise. So you, you should see the 150 Turkish Lira you just paid. On the upper right side, you see a QR code. That QR code is like your ID. However, it changes every 30 seconds. So it's of no means to do a screenshot of the current QR code as it's only valid for 30 seconds. So before leaving the office, you must sure that you have indeed all the money you paid shown on that dashboard side. 
After this, you take a bus up to the takeoff place, which one you decide. And up there, there will be an officer which will check whether you have indeed paid the money. In order to do the check, he would like to see the QR code, which is currently here shown on the right hand side. And he will scan that QR code. If he does scan the QR code, the money will go to the Alanya Sport and will go back to zero because you paid for the takeoff. However, please take into account that there is no Wi-Fi connection at the takeoff site. So you have to have an internet connection on your mobile phone. Sometimes if you're lucky, the offices will offer you their private Wi-Fi hotspot for free, but you should not rely on that. So it's better to have a internet connection on your mobile phone. If you have checked in at the officer, you are free to take off and I'll show you all the takeoff sites as a next step. If you land at the landing site, there's no need to check out or do something else. If you would like to do the next flight, again, go to the office booth, pay your money, go up with the bus, show your QR code, and then you're ready for takeoff for the next round. So it's not very easy, especially as you, because you need the internet mobile connection. And important is to know that you have to pay before you be at the takeoff, which I didn't for the first time. When I went up, um, I didn't know all of this. So they just sent me down in order to pay. So I had to um, went up with the bus and went down with the bus again, which takes some time. And um, therefore I made this video so that you know what you have to do. This is the lower takeoff, which is also in good shape. You see the landing place down there where the paraglider heads to, it's over there. And you have to show your QR code here to the officer. He will scan it and then clear you for takeoff. This is the takeoff at 700, which is very big. It's big enough for six, seven gliders probably. Look down, it's beautiful.